Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, little late night commodities check-in. So look at the dollar, gold, miners, oil, and natural gas. For those of you that have been following these commodity videos, you know we're watching the longer term monthly patterns. Not gonna go into the monthly patterns this video. We're gonna be looking at the daily and the weekly, and right now the weekly time frame for the dollar is bullish. We're looking at another higher low being established, 9703. That's now our line in the sand to keep the weekly uptrend intact. The bulls are making their way up to 9833 resistance, and the daily time frame with a very big bull move off of that low. Now this move has come right off that low with no consolidation. So I would anticipate more likely than not, we would need an, a daily higher low to form before making a test of 98.33 because we are a bit extended. If we look at the shorter term time frames, the four hour RSI is up over 70. The hourly RSI has been rejecting from this 70 level. So keeping an eye out for daily consolidation, but because of the size of the bounce, we would certainly be looking for the dollar to form a daily higher low in the mid $97 area. So sticking with the trend, the dollar is in a weekly uptrend and gold is in a weekly downtrend. We had a nice little daily trend change with no follow through. That's a red flag for bulls. Trend changes with no follow through means zoom out and look for potential flags. I would not call this a bear flag just because it's not coming from a dump, but it is a clear lower high pattern. Lower high at 1324, another one at 1310. That was the level that we were watching and the bulls rejected from that level by $7. So we're looking down at the must hold support of 1266, keeping in mind that on the monthly pattern, we're looking for a monthly higher low to form on gold, but there's no indication that that monthly higher low has formed yet. We have to change this weekly trend, hold 1266 and break 1303 and 1310 to give us the monthly higher low. And at this point right now, the bulls with the size of the pullback, the last four days, not ideal. Ideal scenario for gold is market weakness and dollar weakness. And this past week, we had some market strength and a lot of dollar strength. That's why we're seeing this big red pullback the last four days. So same thing, I would expect gold to bounce a little bit and set a daily lower high compared to 1303 before dropping straight through 1266. I don't think that's the most likely scenario, but we're sticking with the longer term trends. And as long as the weekly uptrend is intact for the dollar, and the weekly downtrend is intact for gold, that's the direction that we're going to be keeping an eye on things. Miners are real tight. So the miners have pretty much an equilibrium forming. The senior miners did get a bull break, again, with no follow through, just like gold. It's only a three cent bull break, so pretty much a double top. And I'm watching for a break of this tightening range. With a bear break, it will be a weekly bear flag, looking for follow through. And with a bull break, we'll look to change the daily trend and we'll zoom out on the weekly and look for a weekly lower high compared to 22.93. So tight range on these miners likely to break within the first couple of days of this coming week. And looking at the junior miners, didn't get that resistance break, but also in a tightening daily pattern. We actually got a support break Friday with no follow through. So waiting for some clarity, but it is a weekly bear flag. Bulls have to break to higher highs on the daily to try and negate the weekly bear flags that are currently shaping up. So right now where I stand, gold bulls have some proving to do. They have to break the weekly lower high pattern. If they do, the bull miners will get some bounce just looking for a weekly lower high to form. And it's all about the dollar. Dollar stays strong. Gold bulls aren't going anywhere. Oil bulls are showing up. So oil is looking like a weekly higher low has formed down at 6002, 60 psychological holding. Our key resistance is 6658. And we can see the daily chart building a base of support, getting choppy in here. And then Wednesday, we got some nice follow through and now getting this bullish continuation with the new candlestick Sunday night here. And the next resistance level we're looking at is up at 64.73. So it's the same similar thing as the dollar. The significance of this bull move five days in a row. I don't expect to just break 66.58 from here. I would expect to need a daily higher low in the lower 60s here for the bulls to try and see continuation up towards that level with a daily higher low and higher high. 
But as of right now, as long as the four-hour uptrend remains intact for oil, the bulls are just fine. And we actually lost it right at the end of the day on Friday and seeing continuation here to start Sunday night. Oil bulls in control. Weekly uptrend, most important for all these commodities for me. Natural gas bulls are trying to confirm this little daily bull flag. They need to break a 2652, which is a mini little double top. This is the most important range right now, 2573 support to 2652 resistance. We've been within this range for six days. If we get a bull break, 272 is the most important resistance level. The weekly time frame is still bouncing, but we have to keep in mind that the weekly time frame is likely to form a lower high still as we're coming up on exponential resistance. And we're also looking at the lower highs at 2894. And you could consider 272 a little lower high, but really it's 2894 was the last bounce attempt where we topped out. Then we pulled back significantly. So now we're just looking for a weekly lower high. So clarity on the monthly timeframes, zooming in on the monthly charts to the weekly timeframes and the weekly trends are what are what we're watching in the short term. And they're certainly still clear at this point. Oil bullish weekly uptrend, dollar bullish weekly uptrend, gold is bearish in a weekly downtrend and natural gas is bearish in a weekly downtrend. So check back in as these continue to play out. Again, I am watching gold and these miners on monthly longer term timeframes. I anticipate my activity trading in gold and these miners will pick up significantly end of 2019 or early 2020 once we get some clear breaks. And I'm looking for this long drawn out equilibrium to give us a break. Then, then I'll be interested. Until then, I'm still trading other things, but keeping an eye on things. And that's why we always have something we always have a hype sector to be looking at. And bull miners and gold were certainly in a hype sector back in 2010, 2012. We even had a bull hype, mini hype market in 2016. And there was a lot of gains to be had there. So while I'm trading things that are active right now and volatile, I'm certainly keeping an eye and making note so that when these breaks of tight, ta tight patterns do take place, I'll be ready to act on them. And then we'll go to the next hype volatile market where there's trading opportunity. So thanks again. Have a good rest of your Sunday night. We'll see you soon.